hundred percent of all credit reports, if they contain anything on the report other than your legal birth name, hundred percent of them are inaccurate. Well, all of us have a credit file from basically the moment we get a social security card or social security number when you're uh, when you're born at a hospital. That's about the time you get a a credit file. Now, no one does anything with this credit file. It just sits on the credit bureau's database in the cloud until you start using your credit. So if the only thing on your credit report is your birth name and your social and your date of birth, then it's probably accurate. But the moment you start using your credit for anything, at that point, it will start to become inaccurate. And here's why. If you go get a credit card with Bank of America, and this Bank of America reports to Experian, Equifax, and TransUnion, most likely the bank will report different information to all three three of the credit bureaus. Why is it that when Bank of America reports information to Equifax, TransUnion, Experian, the information on each credit reporting agency's file is different? And their response always is, it's not. Under the Fair Credit Report Act of 1970, the information reported has to be the same on all three bureaus. And I say, I agree. However, and I will have a stack of credit reports. However, every single account on these credit reports, every single one of them are different. And I can show you thousands upon thousands upon thousands of them with hundreds of thousands of accounts. And every time they go, I don't know, we'll have to get back with you. This has been going on now a decade. So the moment you start using your credit, your credit report becomes inaccurate. There becomes inaccurate information being reported on this credit report.